Okay, we're going to talk about controlling a stepper motor. In this case, this is an old stepper motor inside a 3D printed case um, from an old 3D printer. And you can pick them up new on eBay anywhere from 8 bucks to 13 bucks, no big deal. And you want to be able to control it in this case without doing any programming or using Arduinos or any of that crap. Let's just take a, and I need to control it silently because it's going to be used in the Leslie project, rotating speaker project. So I'm going to use a uh, TMC2208 driver. And again, they're not horribly expensive. You can pay anywhere from 6 bucks to 14 bucks, depending on where you want to buy the little chip. And I'm just going to use the 555 timer in a very uh, special uh, mode. So I think... Let's do a little demo and then we'll talk about the circuit before we totally nerd you out. So basically the circuit right now is laid out on this piece of perf board. And what I have coming into it, this black wire here, just goes down to a 12 volt power supply. Maybe we should show that. Just plugged right in right there. Picked it up off eBay, they're like four bucks, maybe five bucks. I actually got two of them for six something plus shipping. They can put out up to 2 amps at 12 volts. This particular circuit that I'm using for this rotating speaker Leslie project actually draws less than 300 milliamps when it's working hard. So this would be the, uh, the slower speed of the Leslie right there. And this would be the uh, ramping up. That's the thing about this circuit is it ramps up and ramps down. It doesn't just change. It gets up to the uh, faster speed for the Leslie. And the other thing that you can do with the circuit is you have an enable pin so you can stop it anytime you want. Okay, so let's start talking about the circuit. Basically, what we have laid out here is this is a 7805 5 volt regulator. This is the TMC2208 driver. It's a silent sidestep driver. And uh, the stepper motor can plug right into the pins that come off of it on the side. This is the 555 timer. This is not the speed control. This is actually a control. Well, it can adjust the speed a little bit. But this is a control that has to do with uh, making the 555 timer act as we want it to. This is part of the uh, LC circuit that makes it ramp up and ramp down. It's a 1000 UF, anything over 5 volts. So in other words, any 1000 UF cap you can find will probably be fine. And a uh, resistor, it's a very streamlined circuit here. This is a filter cap for the TMC2208 that they uh, request you add. And let's take a look up here at the computer, get you in closer. So this is basically what the TMC driver looks like. Usually when you buy them you will get a little screwdriver, you will get a little heat sink. And this is the chip itself and the pins are aiming down and they actually are all marked what everything is. When you're uh, all done you actually take the heat sink and stick it right on here to dissipate heat. But like again, in my particular application for the uh, rotating speaker Leslie cabinet, it doesn't draw enough current that even needs a heat sink. It'd run fine without it. There's a small trim pot on your stepper drivers. It doesn't matter if it's this TMC one or some other brand. They all have a way of adjusting the amount of current that is put out to the uh, stepper motor. That's why they come with a little screwdriver. And one of the easiest ways to adjust it is if to take like a, an alligator clip and clip it onto the metal part of the screwdriver. Take the other end of the alligator clip and go to your voltmeter positive lead. Take the negative lead of your voltmeter and connect it to ground for the whole circuit. And then you will that will automatically give you a reading as soon as you put that in on the trim pot. In my case, I found that uh, 0 0.7, 0 0.8 of a volt, under one volt for sure, is more than enough to uh, drive the rotating speaker Leslie effect. Let's see what other pictures here might uh, be of value. I think I had a bunch of them here. Um, in case you're not familiar, this is the 7805 5 volt regulator. 
It's a metal case tab, TO3 case, I, I'm sorry, TO22, and uh, this would be your power in. So in my case, the 12 volt in on this pin, center pin and this tab are always ground, and this pin is your 5 volt out, and normally you'll have a capacitor close to this between the out and ground, anything from 1 UF up to help stabilize the chip. Okay, let's see what else we've got here. Um, when I initially was building this and testing, this uh, is how I did it. Just no breadboard. The parts were just laying out in the open. I just soldered right under the pins. And this is the 555 circuit, and here's the TMC circuit. And here is the cap for the uh, ramp up, ramp down that we're going to talk about here in a minute. We've seen that. This is a a close-up of the top of the TMC 2208 driver so you can clearly see how things are marked. So when we're going to use this we do need to connect both grounds together so we have one ground for the whole circuit but this uh, VIO that's for the logic inside this that's the one that needs to run at 5 volts but this one down here VM that means volts motor so this is the power for the stepper motor this was the one where you feed the full 12 volts and these are the two pins that you're going to put the, the larger cap across anything from 100 UF up whatever you got handy laying around just to help uh, keep the noise off then the, uh, the M pins all four of them in a row those go right to the stepper motor and they're spaced just right if you take these pins that are coming off here and bend them all out at a right angle you can just plug it right, just plug the stepper motor right onto the chip. You don't have to solder onto those or anything. There is a uh, direction control pin that uh, normally we would pull high and... Um, is that right? I don't want to say that wrong. Normally we would pull low. <laughs> In this case, uh, like a 1K resistor or something. And then if you make it high, and this is again, since this is all logic we're talking about here, that'd be 5 volt. If you make it high, you can reverse the direction of your stepper motor either way. But it's just as easy, unless you need to be able to reverse it with a switch, to un unplug your stepper motor and flip the cable over, and that'll reverse it too. This is where we're going to be feeding our clock pulse in from the 555 for the steps. We're not going to use any of these pins, so we're going to leave all those alone. Clear down here in the bottom, there's an enable. And again, with the uh, enable pin, we're... Um, which way are we going with that? Normally, we pull the enable pin low. So put, again, something on there. It's 5-volt logic, so it doesn't really matter what you put on there. But I just put a 1K resistor on there and uh, from the nearest ground to it. That way you can come over and apply plus 5 anytime you want to stop the whole motor. So normally when that's held low, the motor would be running. If you put 5 volts DC on there, then it will stop the motor, which can be handy. It's the only other connection you have to do to it, so it's really basic. It's just get your 5 volt in, get your 12 volt in, plug the motor on. Um, you, you can, in reality, just leave all of these things alone if you're not going to use them, and everything would probably work fine, with the exception of step. We're going to make a connection there. But if you do plan on using switches to control the direction or switches to control the enable, then it's a good idea to put that uh, pull-down resistor on there to make sure they don't change when you don't want them to, that they stay stable. Just fighting with my little circuit board now. And the mouse. Let's see if I can get back to the mouse. Let's see, what do we want to look at? Let's look at the 555. One of the, it's the most common timer chip in the, in the whole world. And uh, it's very versatile. And this block diagram is, is very handy because there's a lot of different things you can do with this chip that most people don't do. And we're going to wire this one up in a slightly unconventional way to make things work better in our case. As you can see, there is a ground pin. And because this is going to interface with the uh, stepper driver at 5 volts, we're going to go ahead and run this chip at 5 volts too. But all our grounds are the same, so connect your ground up there. We're not going to be using the reset, so connect the reset to plus 5 volts. Pin 8 is the power supply for this, so connect it to plus 5 volts. This is going to be our output, which we're going to run over to that stepper driver, the TMC2208, where it said step. That one does go right over to there. And we are going to be using this control voltage pin to vary the speed, 
the ramp speed and everything. So we're going to leave that. Um, what do I want to say? I think we need to move. Well, basically, I'm going to have to get a little geeky here for you. Uh, or nerd out too much for many of you, I'm sorry. But there are several, there's a couple of comparators inside of 555. Your pin to trigger and your threshold, they're both comparator inputs. And there's a voltage divider ladder that goes between VCC and ground. We're going to be using the functions that now we're knowing that they're, that they're in there to do what we need to do. So basically we're going to take our threshold, our trigger, and we're going to connect those together. And then we're going to put, and this is part of the odd part, we're going to take a capacitor from pin 2 to pin 1. In this case, the capacitor is going to be a 0 0.01, which if you have the old ceramic caps, it'll be marked as a 103. And um, put that there to set our timing. Then we do need a, a way to trim this in to the roughly the right speed. So remember 6 is connected to, 2 has a cap to 1, so we can either take a wire off 6 or take a wire off 2 and go through a, uh, either a fixed resistor or a trim pot to the output, to the step. We're going to feed this output also back into the chip, but through a resistor value. In this particular case, we want about 27.5K. So you could just buy a 50K trim pot and then adjust that trim pot to 27.5. It'd be the easiest way, because otherwise you've got to buy three resistors and stack them up because there's no such thing as a 27.5K resistor. Off the uh, pin 5 voltage control, we're going to take a 1000 UF capacitor, and the positive side of the capacitor is going to go to plus 5, 5 volts, not to ground. The positive side there, the negative side to pin 5, and then off that pin 5, we're going to have a 2.2K uh, ohm resistor. And the open end of that resistor is where we're going to either connect it to ground or connect it to plus 5 to get our speeds for this uh, rotating Leslie effect. And let's see. I think maybe here's a little hand-drawn schematic that kind of uh, shows all of that. So you can freeze frame this if you want. And this is showing the 2.2K out off of pin 5 that says speed. So at that point, we can do several things when we have that coming out. Like I say, you could have a switch that simply connects it either to the V plus or connects it to ground. Or you could actually run it to a potentiometer and sweep between the two. Or I use the foot switch if you've watched my other uh, videos on this whole thing for controlling the speed on the slow and fast and standby. And I'm going to make that a separate video, not because it's difficult, it's just involved to, to explain. There's a lot to talk about there. I think, I think we've kind of covered things here. These are all pictures that you would have seen if you've watched the other videos on building this. And on the foot switch, we can get into that when I do the foot switch build. But this is the Leslie, how it ended up. So you can watch that video if you haven't already. And there's what the build looks like that we're using right now. So it's a very inexpensive thing to do because the stepper motors are very inexpensive. The driver's ex inexpensive. 5.5 five timers are less than a buck. The 7805s are less than a buck. You need a piece of perf board if you want to make it neat. Just a couple of capacitors, 1,000 UF. Again, it's on a 5-volt supply, so anything rated over 5 volts is fine. The uh, TMC motor is running on 12 volts, and so the uh, filter cap for that, can anywhere from 100 UF up, whatever you got laying around, will be fine. The uh, stepper motor, it's a two-phase stepper motor, so that means you have four wires. Just plug directly in. You may have an old printer somewhere, or you may just want to buy a stepper motor off eBay or wherever you like to buy them. Even cheaper if you go to AliExpress or someplace like that. And that's into the bill. That's on the chip. We talked about all of that. I don't think there's a whole lot more we need to talk about. It's really simple. Let's uh, get back down here. 
It's uh, real simple. You just get the power supplies in there. Get the 5 volt to the logic part of the chip. Get the 12 volt to the motor power of the chip. Plug the motor in. Send it the clock pulses and you're good to go. And the clock's just the 555 as we just talked about. And uh, really nothing, nothing fancy about it. And like I say, the controls we can do a lot of different things with. And I'm going to cover the controls in a uh, separate video.